In this video, we're going to take a look at whiteboard.fi. This web-based, interactive, collaborative whiteboard is designed especially for teachers and students. One of the nice things about it is that it has no sign-in at all, making it quick and easy for instant assessment and interactivity between teachers and students in a remote learning or face-to-face -face environment. Here I am at whiteboard.fi, and as the teacher, I'm going to begin by clicking on New Class. Here, I will give my class a name and click Create New Class. This gives me a link which I can then share with my students. I can simply copy and paste it into a platform like Google Classroom or just email students the link so they can join. Here I am on a student device. Now, I could just go to the link that my teacher shared with me, or I could come to the whiteboard.fi homepage and select Join Class. Here, I'm prompted for a code. The code is just the last few digits or characters within the link that was shared with me. So in this case, it was H86. And I'm going to tap Join Class. It's going to ask me to enter my name and tap Join. And now I'm in. You'll notice that instantly on the teacher device, the students showed up. I see a little thumbnail of their work. And of course, if I had 10 or 20 students in the class, I would see 10 or 20 of these thumbnails all at once. Now, focusing on the teacher screen, I have two options. I can view my class, which will show me all of my students' whiteboards, or I could view my own whiteboard. So on my own whiteboard, you'll see I have different tools where I can add content to the board. This includes text boxes, drawings, etc. So let's go ahead and add a text box. Okay, and then when I'm ready, I can click on Push Whiteboard to Students. Now, on my student device, you'll see a notification popped up. Students have a similar view where they have a whiteboard tab for themselves, and then they could switch to their teacher's whiteboard. Let's see what the teacher's board looks like. You'll notice students see the message that I posted. Let's add a prompt for our students. Notice how it popped up automatically on my student device. Now, as a student, I want to respond to this prompt. So I'm going to head back over to my whiteboard. And here, I'm going to select the drawing tool. And I can change colors and fills, backgrounds, etc. So I'm going to draw a happy face so that my teacher knows I'm feeling good today. Now in the teacher view, if I go back to my class, I will see all of my students' work. And in fact, I can see it in real time. So let's say as a student, I want to change my drawing. It immediately shows up on my teacher device. So this is a great tool for quick assessment, quick feedback to get a sense of how students are performing and feeling about a particular content or topic particularly good for mathematics classes where drawing is necessary. Uh, obviously, it works well on a tablet where you can use a stylus and gives you a little bit more control over the drawing. But otherwise, it's a very quick, easy-to-use tool. Keep in mind that because there's no signing in, there is a certain amount of anonymity and a certain lack of security um, that comes along with that. As always, in EdTech, we have to balance ease of use and simplicity with security and features. The beauty of this tool is that it is very bare bones and it just works and is quick and easy to get up and running. Of course, the drawback is that it's a little bit limited in its features and you do have to manage things like classroom management a little bit more than you might in other tools. But it's definitely worth checking out and trying with students. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.